Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 in the series about plotting in MATLAB and introduction. And this will be the last video and in this video we will cover how to plot in multiple figures and also something called subplots where you have multiple figures in one window. I will talk about how to best uh, save and export your your figure and then I will do a brief uh, coverage of uh, uh, plotting with uh, your own colors and some tools for drawing uh, uh, objects in your figures. So, multiple figures. If you type in this command figure with no input, it will open a new figure for you, an empty plot. You can also specify a number here, and you will either then navigate to, for example, if this is a 5, you will navigate to the fifth plot, or it will create it if it doesn't exist. So use an input if you want to control exactly which figure you will plot in. And the example codes I've used for this series uh, uses uh, this type of uh, coding. But sometimes you don't want a different window for each of your figures. You want to plot them in an array or a matrix of figures. And that's when this subplot command comes in handy. And subplot is something you use in addition to your normal plots. So before you start plotting, you specify which subplot you will be plotting in. And you do it like this. You specify the row, you specify the column, and then you specify which element, uh, that is which number uh, in total uh, you want to plot in. So, for example, here I have a 2 times 2 subplot array. And for this, oops, sorry. Uh, so this means I've used, to go back once again, I've used a 2 here for 2 rows. I've used a 2 for the columns, 2 columns. And these two will never change. They will always be the same for this figure. And then the number here is between 1 and 4. There's a total number of elements in the matrix. So, this is an example of a 2 times 2 subplot array. And this is covered in example 16. And here I plot some different uh, trigonometric functions in each window here. And they, they are not important in themselves. But here you can see how to use the subplot command. And uh, so, we've been limited to the MATLAB standard colors so far. And uh, sometimes you wish a new color, or you're running out of colors. And you can specify them if you know the RGB values. And uh, for example, uh, if you follow this link, it will list 500 different colors. You, or you can go to another source and find a color you like. You need to change it from a value between two, 256 value to, to a value between 0 and 1. And then we can just use the color property in plot. Uh, just like we control the line width and uh, uh, marker size property in, uh, in the second video. Uh, we can control the color. And this is uh, shown how to do in example 17. And there you can also see how to get the exponents in uh, in the labels, in the legends. Yes, so this is how you change and uh, control your own color, if you, for example, want an orange color. There are some additional tools you can use if you want to emphasize something in your plot. You can draw a line, which you could technically do with the x and y vectors that you give as input, but sometimes you just want to draw a line. in, And then you can use the line command. Sometimes you want to draw, you can draw a rectangle like this. And you can, yeah, and you can, you can also draw circles with it. And you can draw, use fill to draw a high level polygon. And this 
you can actually use if you want to fill the area beneath a curve you can use a, a specific polygon for that you can use text to write in your figure and you specify the x and y co coordinates for it and this is sometimes useful so how do we save our figures and how do we export them well the easiest way is the save as function here and then you get uh, to specify the name and you can uh, specify the format I usually save as PNG if I want to keep the colors as true as usual if you save it as JPEG it sometimes changes the, uh, the look and feel of the figure and you can also save as uh, if you want to save as a vector format you can save it as EPS encapsulated postscript uh, if you want to do this in the scripting way which you might have been convinced you want to do everything now in the scripting way well then there's the print uh, command for uh, saving a figure to from a matlab figure to uh, another file format and if you type help print in the matlab command window you can see how to use the print command and you can specify for example the resolution the dot inches, and things like this okay uh, so remember, in summary, uh, always check that your plots will be easy to read from all the distances. If it's in an auditorium, check from the back seat, if you can, that you can read it all the way from there. Uh, you should use the MATLAB help to learn more about the functionalities of the commands you're using. I've only been able to cover a brief, very briefly what uh, you can do. And use Google or whatever search motor you want. Uh, someone probably had the problem before you and uh, you can check what they did. And then you can ask on Lisa if you're part of this course. Otherwise, well, go and Google it. But if you're in the course, uh, ask on Lisa and we will uh, try to help you. And uh, on the next Rekenstuga, uh, uh, there will be chances to ask specific questions on uh, how to get help with your plots. Uh, so, if you have questions and comments, please post them on Lisam. And uh, we would like feedback, of course, on the material if you think this can be improved. If you or if you thought that something was lacking, you can give us a hint and suggestion of what to include in the future. And with that, I thank you for listening to this series. And good luck in your projects and your presentations and your final reports. And now I'm expecting nice figures from all of you. Thank you. <laughs>